Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a Concore offering, the very, I was going to say the first Concore thing we've reviewed on my channel, but it's actually the second. But this is the first Concore locomotive, and these are the MUM P54 coach and trailer. So this is a two coach set, basically, or coach and a trailer set. You can get these from Concore's website. I'll put some flashy stuff on the screen so you get some more information about them. They are not my era. Not even my cup of tea, so I don't know much about them, so I will rely on the folks that do know about them or can find the information, but this is more of a product demonstration just to show you what you get in the box, so let's get started now. Right, we're going to unbox this. This is sound equipped, but uh, I think you have to purchase sound separately, decoder separately and install it, or have somebody install it for you. You get some paperwork here. There is the name of the locomotive, MP54, MU. It's got exploded parts on there, shows you how it comes apart, how the roof pops off. And then the back here has all the part numbers. Talks about the Pennsylvania Railroad, Long Island Railroad. Powered and non-powered units. Passenger, obviously. Used to move some people around. So we'll just pull this out of the box. It's got a little soft plastic holding it up. On the Panagraph end, we will start with the headlight. You've got some windows for the crew, safety chains going across the door here, a little platform along with a coupler. Appears to be plastic with a magnetic glad hand, accessory hoses, access stairs for passengers and crew. This is spring loaded, so you can release it as such and what that does is it picks up power to apply to the locomotive from overhead lines so you're able to see what's going on and how this is spring loaded this panograph so it is a good representation I don't know that it actually picks up power. I don't believe it does. People usually ask me that. Uh, most of the ones I know of do not actually pick up power. Power is applied through the track. Got some electrical conduit here. Pennsylvania Railroad on the side. As we turn this to the side, there are seats installed. So there's a interior. Some roofing detail there. Window gaskets. You've even got window decor on the end windows there. So we zoom in and take a look at the underbody. Under underbody is nicely detailed along with the trucks. We'll go along here if I can get my camera to move. See Pennsylvania Railroad on the other side as well. So really nice car so far, from what I can tell. As you start to see the ends, you'll see separately applied grabs, more of those chains, safety chains going across the doorway, grab irons on the side, and more steps for crew and passengers. So more of the same on that end. So there's a quick view down the side. Here's a look at the trailer. Not powered, but more of the same details. And you have another light on this end here. But again, same Pennsylvania Railroad Keystone scheme. And same details I mentioned. I will flip this so you can see the bottom detail, as you can see, molded in or applied the bottom there rivet detail as well all right we're gonna fire this up and simply move it here 
and it's electric so you're not gonna have a whole lot of sounds unless it's supplementary sounds but we'll go over some you do have a nice reddish light there on the end you can probably see that that is controlled with F0 I just hit F1 there F2 F3 F4 So obviously one has a bell sound, two is the horn there, five looks like it doesn't do much of anything six seven and eight and again this is a decoder that's already installed so this is the decoder that you would put in it we're gonna move this that is one speed step there it's out of 126 two Three, looks like a clickety clack noise. Four, and five. We're gonna go in reverse. One, a little bit of stutter there. Two, looks like everything is smoothed out. Three. Four. Very smooth by now. And five. Now the cars are lit. They have a nice kind of golden yellow interior lighting that appears to be flicker flickering in the uh, areas of dirty track and such. So you'll have to keep your track clean. They'll still get some flickering. There's no capacitor in there or anything of the sort but it is a nice uniform interior with a nice light spread throughout there doesn't appear to be any light leakage except for with the headlight into the windows a little bit so that's nice and no light leakage through the body now we're looking at the trailer here and it does have a light as well so the front and the rear have lights headlight and rear light so that is part of track power so it is illuminated and looks great well that's going to wrap it up on this product demo of the Concorde M U MP54 coach and trailer and I'm going to leave you with a run by of this quick final thoughts nice that it has a sprung diaphragm headlight works you have the ability to put a decoder in there get one with sound that way you've got the trailer which the locomotive pulls smoothly I'll show you on the run by lighting within lighting inside that is evenly distributed those are all positives only little dings I could find were a little bit of light leakage on the headlight a couple are just a bit low but they are uniform between the two cars you see here and the fact that they the lighting does have a flicker to it there's no capacitor in there that's about it so I'll leave you with a run by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.